from WHO 13 Sports. This is the Football Friday Primetime Coach's Corner. Our Football Friday Primetime season started with a win on the final play. Week one, Southeast Pole quarterback Jackson Daly to Xavier Wampa. Hail Mary and Wampa pulls the pass down with three defenders around him. Welcome to another Coach's Corner alongside my partner Justin Cernsey. I'm Keith Murphy and Justin will see SEP again this week. Yeah, we sure. And that walk-off touchdown is a tough act to follow, Keith. But how about a state championship rematch? That may do the trick. Right yeah, there. that'll do it. Uh, here it is. Number one ranked Southeast Polk at number six, Ankeny. Ankeny won last year's state championship with a decisive win over the Rams. Uh, the rematch is Friday in prime time. And you can watch on WHO 13, WHO13.com, or with the WHO 13 app. A lot of ways to watch. Joined now by the head coach of the defending champion Hawks, Rick Nelson. And coach, welcome. Good to be here. Thank good, you. It's good to have you here. What do you remember about that championship last year, that game and that title that you won in Ankeny? Well, I, I think it started um, as we were dressing and Southeast Polk came running through our, by the locker room in the dorm, dome. We were playing Dowling and I saw how big their team was. And I looked at my son, Nick, and I were in the hallway. I was like, oh, my gosh, look at how big these kids, because they were, they were running through us. And so after we beat Dowling, um, then we were like, okay, we're going to be playing these big kids. And I just remember how enormous their team was, just, just huge people. Did you wonder what, what were they feeding those kids over there? Yeah, in the, in we the don't have guys area. like that. At yeah. <laughs> well, you had quite a result there. That was a really good championship uh, team there you, ha you had with Ankeny. And you're off to another good start this year. You get a win over Dowling last week. What did you like from your team against Dowling? And what do you want to see improve before you go against number one SEP? Um, I think what I liked is just our kids bounce back. Um, we were playing Centennial, um, and it didn't go the way we had planned. And so that's a tough loss for, for those kids because it is a, it's a pretty big rival for that community. And so I wasn't exactly sure. Um, the state did us a great favor, so we went Centennial and then Dowling and then Southeast Polk. Um, so we're kind of like, okay, here, you know. So we were, uh, as coaches, you know, we just told our kids, hey, let's prepare. Let, we know we have a good team. And, uh, but, you know, Dowling was probably not the team that I was thinking, okay, well, let's just bounce back and just beat those guys. Um, so I was really pleased how they prepared and the effort they put forth. And I was really pleased the way our, our quarterback played and bounced back from um, what he knows was not a great performance against Centennial. And then he had a great performance against Dallin. Yeah, tell us uh, about your quarterback, J.J. Cole, big kid. Uh, what, what do you like about what he has going for him as a QB? Um, just his eagerness to learn. Um, he's just soaking it in. Um, it's a different offense, what he plays now compared to what he had played at Centennial. So. There's a learning curve for him, um, but he can make all the throws. Uh, he just, he wanted to do so good against Centennial. It was like, he just was trying and it, it just, um, he struggled, not just only him, but we had some drop passes and we missed some opportunities. But um, I, I, I just, I think he's a great young man. He's just gonna get better and better. A decade in that split when Ankeny now has the, the two high schools, how's that going? Um, I don't think it's a really too friendly um, <laughs> sport wise. It's um, become a rivalry. <laughs> yes. As, as uh, inevitable. So, uh, you know, I kind of thought it might get a little better. I've been here seven years, but it just doesn't seem to be going that direction. Um, so uh, what's I guess is neat is that both schools have some really good players. And I think if you had those two teams together, there, there might be some kids that might not get an opportunity to play. Um, where if you had just a you know big school that had, I don't know, a thousand kids in a graduating class, you, you might not get as much opportunities for some of the athletes that we do now with two high schools. Friday night, number one, Southeast Polk. What kind of challenge do the Rams present? Well, um, they're very confident. They have a, a nice quarterback. Um, they have a, a really uh, nice offensive line. They're playing some young kids, but they're, they're big. Their running back, I think, is... Uh, you know, we, we felt he was one of the better running backs last year when we played them. Um, and defensively, they have two really nice corners um, that 
play a lot of man coverage. And then their safety, I think everyone knows about him. I mean, he probably is a young man that could go anywhere in the country to play. So, um, you know, we're going to have to play good. We know that. Our kids know it. And uh, it'll be a physical game. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. My partner, Justin Cerency, used to coach him. What do you remember about Justin? Uh, I, I, we called him Silky. Silky? Silky Smooth. Silky and, uh, Smooth. Yeah, he was, uh, like I, I said, he, he was just, he was a great young man. Um, he was fun to be around. He was a great teammate. Um, I'll still never forget when we uh, beat Western Kentucky. Uh, it was overtime, and they threw him, the corner blitzed, and he just sat down, and they threw him the ball, and he went 25 yards, and we ended up winning that game. And um, He was just neat, and it's so neat to see him on TV. Um, he just... He doesn't look like he's aged. I mean, he, he looks the same young man as when I recruited him out of Minnesota. He's a good dude. Uh, Coach, we appreciate you being here, and uh, best of luck Friday night. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. When we come back, Silky joins us. He'll interview one of the Ankeny Hawks next. Next, That's Silky Smooth, Justin Cerency.